Hi, I'm Amory and this is Ambry's Corner and welcome back to today's video. It is part 3 of the Underdog series. Um, this is my episode of the Underdog series. If y'all have been keeping up with the three part, it's because it is, this is the three, this is the third part in the three part, um, Underdog spinoff series that I'm doing. Um, about me and about my decision to go back to school. And today's video is just like a questions and answer video. So I'm going. I, I wrote some questions down for myself, and I'm going to answer them for y'all. I have about ten, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started in this. You know, let's begin. I was going to have somebody uh, read the questions off to me, and I would answer them, but. And since I'm going through all that I could do it for you. So my first question to myself is name and age. My name is Jasmine, and I am. 29 almost 30 in December all right the next question is what school do you attend I will be attending um Academy of Arts University in San Francisco I will be an online student so is what is your field of study my field of study is communications and media technology um I've had an interest in this in this major for a, a while now I always knew that it was something that I wanted to do the main thing that was holding me back was going actually trying to find a school that I could go to because I don't have a high school diploma. I didn't take no kind of SATs or SCTs. It's like that. Um, I, I dropped out before that time came for me so I really didn't have that chance and so that was a big concern of mine or maybe having to take, over, take a math class over again and I don't have to do none of that so yeah. Um, for um, has this always been something you want to do? Yes, it has. I answered that question in the first question. But yes, it has always been something you want to do. Um, for a long time, I paused on going back to school because um, none of the schools around me offered that program. And I was really interested in that part. So, um, I considered marketing for a second. But in, in what I'm doing now, I'm going to be learning the business side, the marketing side, the branding side, all of that. So, yeah. I, I'm excited about this. I'm I'm open to learning. I'm I'm in a place now where I want to learn. I'm like a sponge. I just want to suck up as much as I can. So yeah. Um. Five. What do you hope to? What What do you hope to do with, with the degree? With my I can't read my writing. Um. So I I would like to use it on my platform for YouTube, but not just that. Maybe helping like outside of my platform. Maybe helping other people. Like I have. I think I would like to start a, um, a media company where I bring in like um, um, potential talents and I help them brand them. I help my company will help brand them or you know help them like reach their audience or whatever. I would I wouldn't mind doing that or you know working behind the scenes maybe helping a, maybe helping a small company become a more upscale company, you know, maybe helping somebody with their social media presence, you know, a company with their social media presence. I have a lot of things that I would like to do with it. Maybe help a family member do something they want to do or start a business. You know, there's plenty of things you can do with a um with this kind of degree. So yes, I do have ideas and things that I want to do with my degree. I won't be sitting around with a whole degree not work not using it. I will be using it in some way or form even my job has a department the job I'm in now my the company I'm with now has a department where that degree could come in handy so I have plans don't worry <laughs> um why would why would you say this is your passion um I've always believed that I had I had an anointing on my life I mean I always believe that you know maybe I was meant to use things I've been through to help others in some form or fashion um, I've always believed that that's one of the main reasons why I started my YouTube channel you know to to be able to do that to help people by telling my story I feel like anything anything inspiring somebody it, it starts with a story about somebody else um I get I I'm, I'm inspired every day just by talking to people by movies and stuff like that I'm inspired by those so I would love to be a source of inspiration for somebody else and maybe maybe even help that person or multiple people so I think I think right now what I do contributes like I, I don't know if I'm touching anybody but I just pray that maybe I'm encouraging somebody to do something they want to do whether it's YouTube itself starting a Instagram page or you know starting a um 
a TikTok. You know what I mean? Whatever it is that you want to do that you feel passionate about, do it. And don't let nothing stop you or hold you back. Um, what's something you hope to achieve? Um, okay, I wrote these questions. Now I'm trying to remember what I meant by what's something I hope to achieve. Um, I hope to achieve straight A's. <laughs> Obviously, I would love to make that be a thing. I've never been a straight A student before, so I would like to make that happen. I would love to achieve graduating in the next three, four years tops is what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to be in school a whole a long time. Staying on top of <clears throat> everything that I want to do and getting 10k subscribers on here that's important to me because this is a passion of mine i don't like I, like I say i don't know where this is i i just know this is where i start i don't know if this is where i end i just know it's the beginning of something for me it's helping me come make a lot of decisions a lot of pivotal decisions in my life and i'm just i just hope that i can continue using it for something even if it's just the talk about my daily life or to you know let y'all in on what's going on you know what I mean I want to let y'all I want y'all to be a part of my my going back to school and all of that so I'm working on a way to make that happen so that's those are some of the things I hope to achieve 10k subscribers getting my degree and being a straight A student those are things I hope to I hope to achieve in doing this um what do you get what do you gain from going back to school um I think the most important thing I will gain will probably be my degree. I will I will have a bachelor's. Um, when I graduate, it will be a bachelor's degree. Um, uh, that's that's the lowest they go. So it didn't offer an associate's degree. So it would be a bachelor's. Um, I would like to gain something I didn't have before. Maybe maybe some more skills. Maybe insight into something else that I could be interested. In. You know, I I think I. I think I could be anywhere. I do have an interest in talk shows. I love talk shows. Wendy Williams, her, her time on television was, to me was um, iconic. I know most people don't think she's iconic because of the form of um, the form of um, TV she did. You know, she was more of a gossip or whatever. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly call myself I'm not interested in nobody else's business only mine I am interested in you know in, in sp inspirational people people who said not to do things trying to achieve things which is one of the main points of the um series that I got going on on YouTube right now Undog, which is what this is one of the main points of my Undog series is to show people that there are people that had to start somewhere from the bottom and rise to the occasion you know what I mean it's always somebody this had this had to have start from somewhere, out of it, make something out of nothing. So you know, I just I think I would be interested in that, or maybe even radio possibly. I I think I do have a voice. I think I do have um, the makings of somebody that could be a voice for the people, <clears throat> a voice for you know the underdog. I would like to say, I would like to call myself the voice for the underdog, and I think that could help me. Um, <clears throat> bring it out a little bit more work on the tools that I need to make that happen and be the best whatever it is that I'm trying to be at that or maybe even podcast you never know I just um, what would you tell younger you um a younger me I would say relax calm down breathe and pray and just think 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 everything through don't be in such a rush to make a decision don't feel like you have to Every, everything should have a perfect time. If if you want to start YouTube, start it. Don't hold back. Do it. You know you may not get where you want to get to in a year, in two years, but you'll be you'll be on, you'll be on start, and that's the biggest blessing you'll have is that no, you're not where you want to be, but you started, and so that's better than not starting. You know, um, I've been on I've been on here for about three years, and. In those three years, I my biggest thing is I wish I had started earlier. I wish I had started earlier. I wish I had started earlier. That's what I keep saying myself. I wish I had started a lot earlier. I feel like I feel I feel like because I'm I'm getting older. You know what I mean? I just I wish that I wish I would have started started earlier. So I want I'm, I'm telling myself that now start early this 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 is for whomever needs to hear start now don't wait don't put it off you don't need nothing 
but to start. That's all you need. And everything else will come when you need it. it I, I feel like when I started my channel, everything slowly started to come in to me. Things that I felt like I needed before I started it. They started happening. I got the camera within two years, within the, within a year and a half of starting. I got a ring light. You know what I mean? My mama purchased my first ring light. I still have it. Then she bought me another one. You know, I still have it. Then I got, I started, I was using the iPhone. I got the camera, you know. Then I was editing on the phone from a camera and I got an iPad. So then, you know, I just, it, everything came, everything, God kind of gave me what I needed when I needed it. You know what I mean? So I don't have any 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 doubts about when I started I think when I started was when I was supposed to start but I just I would tell anybody that wants to do this or wants to do anything just start don't hold don't wait just do it just do um, it um and the last question um looking back will you do you do you would you regret any choices you made um I'm gonna say no I'm gonna say no I don't regret any choices I've ever made I don't I think I, I think I, I think it's like I said. Everything happens for reasons. Our steps are pre-ordered. Um, we don't we don't know how life is going to happen for us. We don't know what's around the next being. You know, I could say something now and something else happens later that makes me rethink what I said. I don't know what's going to happen, and I think I think I can attribute everything that's happened to 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 the person I am now. You know what I mean? I think it's. If it's bad or good, it's made me stronger. It's made me a more resilient person, a more um, go-getter, I feel like. I, I really do feel like I'm stronger. And I didn't always see my strength, but I see it now. I see it in the way I don't give up. The way I, I kind of like demand myself not to not to let anybody make me feel scared or to when I want to withdraw from something I feel like I've been my strongest this year alone I think this year has been a real big test to how strong I really am um a lot of changes happen at all at the same time my decision to go back to school a couple of other things in my personal life in my work life I think all that happened at the same time made me realize just how strong I am and I think it's been a test to see if I could handle what's coming next. I don't know if that's the lesson I was supposed to learn. I just feel like that's maybe what I was supposed to learn. And that, you know, sometimes what I feel is all in my head. Sometimes what I'm scared of is really mostly in my head. It's not, it's never really what it is. And sometimes I have, sometimes I find myself having to take a step back from things so that I can examine it better. And then once I'm out of it, you know, I'm like, dang, all that, and I went through all that for nothing. I was feeling all that for nothing. It was no big deal. I could have done it. I could have pushed through. And sometimes that's just what it's about. It's about pushing through things, problems. Sometimes you ain't supposed to know everything that's about to happen. Sometimes you have to wait and just let things happen the way it's supposed to. And I feel like once I keep that in my head, once I realize that and grasp that, I'll be smooth sailing. I'm going to be fine. I have my doubts about going back to school. I just have to hope and pray that it all works out in my favor. So um, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you, want, what you think, what you want to hear, what you want to see. And I will do my very, very best to make it happen for you. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.